I just wanted to let you know to gear up and be expecting uh, Joe to get his biggest major test. He's going to go on a, uh, have a hard spar. I've got a professional boxer coming in. Uh, the, the gentleman should be here tonight. So at some point tomorrow, I don't believe we'll do it on YouTube Live. Uh, I'm having problems downloading when I put up a live video, so uh, more than likely, I'm just going to record it and put it out. But you guys will see what's going to happen. Uh, it'll be a good test for Joe, so we see really where he's sitting and what's going on. Uh, and uh, the gentleman has over nine years' experience in boxing. Uh, it's a former champion, uh, not a world champion, but a national champion. And uh, he's a good boxer, and he trains a lot of guys now. And he's still a young man. He's still in his 20s. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. And uh, so I hope you guys will tune in. It should be at some point tomorrow that I'm able to uh post the hard sparring i'm gonna uh joe's at 15 he's 15 years old so we're gonna go either three one and a half minute rounds or three two minute rounds uh we'll make that determination after we sat down and talk about it they will be wearing headgear and it'll be you know a very hard spar so we'll see what what happens and what joe's got um uh, and whatever we need to work on we'll just go back to the drawing board and work on so this is really good for joe and as i said i uh, got him coming in uh he's coming in from eight hours away so uh I'm very lucky to have to be getting this pro boxer here so we can see what Joe's got. May put some other sparring on because I'm going to utilize the gentleman while he's here and ask him to spar as much as he can. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, Joe's confident and uh, he's his regular sporting self. And if he's got any emotion going on with him he's not uh, uh, not showing it uh, Joe has sparred this gentleman before and as a matter of fact I've referred back to him many times uh, he is a nat national Venezuelan champion uh, he uh, fought in Venezuela uh, left Colombia and fought in Venezuela, and he's Venezuelan, but he's just recently, <clears throat> the past couple of months, has returned to Colombia, and we're lucky to have him. So, uh, again, we'll see what happens. And uh, uh, Joe sparred him when Joe first started boxing, and this is one of the gentlemen that helped Joe along. And uh, where we realized that Joe had some potential in boxing. And, uh, uh, but he's going to be instructed, don't let up. You know, uh, if he needs to lay a whooping on Joe, uh, by all means, I hope he does. So, uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll, you know, we'll just see. And it's a good test. And, I'm putting it out there for everybody to see and uh, if there is a near catastrophic failure we will go back to the drawing board and we will work on uh, what we need to improve or what we need to totally correct. See that's boxing so 
Uh, the young guys got to be prepared. You you got to take these whoopings, and there's always somebody at a more elite level than yourself that'll lay a shellacking on you. And your heart is shown whether you got a future in boxing uh, or other uh, heavy combat sport. Uh, when you do take a shellacking, uh, how you handle that? So. And everybody's took them from Sonny Liston to Ali to Mike Tyson. Everybody's been shellacked a time or two, uh, especially all of the ones that start boxing when they're younger teenagers, such as Joe. Uh, and Joe has took his fair share of the shellackings, let me tell you. Uh, and he's dished quite a few out to where we can't get people to spar him. Uh, not hard anyway, and these boxing leagues don't want to let him in. Uh, the minute we approach the boxing leagues here uh, that are intertwined with the Olympic boxing in Colombia, they start screaming brain damage and, you know, all this kind of mess. So, uh, and, and, uh, there's there's good young boxers here, but the problem is is that the guys that train them uh, don't want to risk the guys that they're training against Joe because they feel it's going to show them up as a trainer. And uh, <laughs> very pathetic, very pathetic. Uh, if I was the number one trainer in the world and – the least among us trainer brought in a guy and he started laying a shellacking on my guy or guys. Uh, I'd be wanting to sign the guy on to me and work with the guy that was already training him. So, but different philosophy here. A lot of macho uh, feces of thoughts, what I call it, uh, that goes on around here. And, and in many countries in South America. And I'm not talking about Central or North America uh, with concerns to it, but it's, it seems to be exclusively uh, a Peru, Colombia, Venezuela type thing. Once you get into Brazil and Argentina, you don't have that. So I just want to stress that. So. Everybody, uh, the plan is the gentleman will be here tonight and we'll have good hard sparring going on tomorrow, which we will post online. So we hope everybody uh, that's interested comes and watch and uh, see what's going on. So much love uh, to everyone and God bless my Christian brothers and sisters and we will see you later.